Okay, so I just finished up filming at Shoreline Village in Long Beach, which is a collection of little shops. It's kind of like old fashioned looking. Um, they are remodeling it, which some people are not happy about, but I think could be cool as long as they keep the charm. Anyway, um, it's one of my social clients. So I went to Yard House. I went to Rocky Mountain Chocolate Factory. I did a walk over kind of to the Queen Mary, which is hold on, just over here. Oh, can you see it? Yes, you can. There it is. It's pretty cool to go see it in person. I guess it's sinking into the ground or into the ocean and they kind of don't know what to do about it. Anyway, <laughs> you can go see that, but I thought I would also go over to the Skinny House, which is also in Long Beach and it's not a very far drive from here. I've been fascinated by the Skinny House ever since I always, I mean, I always look up things online where to go in California, like landmarks and cool stuff like that. And it always pops up and it's just right around us from Orange County, like, 20 minutes top so I've been there before and let me go show it to you again okay it took me 10 minutes to get to the skinny house from shoreline I actually got a spot right in front of it and you literally just type in skinny house into your maps and it'll take you there which I think is funny but it's on Gladys Street and there's actually plenty of parking and you kind of just walk up to it so here we go I feel like I need to whisper because I don't know if anybody lives here. And that's actually like my main question is if anybody lives here. Um, it's kind of making me laugh because they have flyers on their door. Like somebody does live here and there's trash cans out the front. So, hey, if you're in there, I want to come see your house, but um, let me back up so you can kind of see it better. There she is. That's a whole house. It is 860 square feet, which kind of offends me because my house is 1,000 square feet, which is basically the same thing. So I guess I'm living in a skinny house, except my house is one story and this house is three stories. So honestly, it's actually kind of bigger than it looks. Like, it goes all the way back there, all the way back into that building right there, into that brick wall. And it also has a restaurant, Cocina Riviera, it's right next to it. So that's convenient for them. But this house was built on a dare. So I guess it was an architect who had a hundred dollar loan paid back to him in the form of this land, which is 10 feet wide. And he was bet that he couldn't build a habitable house. So he built this skinny house and said, ha ha, it's 860 square feet and some of you are all living in a 500 square foot apartment for $2,000 a month, what now? Um, <laughs> so, and apparently it's also a Long Beach historical landmark, which makes me question if there's someone living in it because it's historic, but it really kind of does look like there's someone living there. Honestly, it's like kind of big. <laughs> Is it okay that I think the skinny house is big? Does this really mean that I've just been living in California my whole life and rent is expensive? I really want to go inside, but apparently they don't let anybody inside. But also apparently, it's pretty original in there, except for when they had to shift it, I think four inches or something because an earthquake made it tilt. So yeah, there's the skinny house. She's cute. Would you live there? I would think about it. 